When it comes to hosting a website, a lot of people look at GoDaddy WordPress hosting as an option. But is it really as good as they say? Or are there some things you need to watch out for? Stick around because this review of GoDaddy WordPress hosting is going to cover everything you need to know, including one thing most people don't realize until it's too late. I thought this was a good time to go over it while I'm building a website, so let's talk about what GoDaddy's WordPress hosting actually offers. Now first off, the appeal here is obvious, GoDaddy is a big name. It's been around forever, and if you've ever looked into domains, you've definitely seen their name pop up. That brand recognition alone makes a lot of people feel like they can trust it. But does that mean it's actually the best choice? Now, let's talk about the good stuff first. One of the big selling points of GoDaddy WordPress hosting is that it's optimized specifically for WordPress. That means things like automatic updates, built-in security, and a setup that's designed to make WordPress run smoothly. If you're someone who doesn't want to deal with a bunch of technical stuff, this can be a huge plus. They also throw in daily backups, which is one of those things you don't really think about until you actually need it. And when you do, you'll be glad it's there. Performance-wise, speed is decent, and they've got a content delivery network built in, which helps keep your site loading fast. They also claim to offer solid uptime, which is obviously important because if your site goes down, it doesn't matter how good the features are. And when everything's running smoothly, it's a solid experience. But here's where things get interesting. Not everything is perfect. One thing that people don't always love about GoDaddy WordPress hosting is how their pricing works. They often have super cheap intro rates that look great, but when it's time to renew, the price jumps up quite a bit. That's something to keep in mind, especially if you're planning to stick with them long term. Another thing, while the hosting is optimized for WordPress, GoDaddy's dashboard and interface aren't always the most intuitive. It's not bad, but it's definitely not as beginner friendly as some of the other hosting companies out there. If you're completely new to building websites, there might be a small learning curve when it comes to navigating their back end and managing your hosting. Now, here's where things get even more interesting, because if you're looking into a review of GoDaddy WordPress hosting, chances are you've also come across Bluehost. Bluehost is another major player in WordPress hosting, and in a lot of ways, it's actually a better option. The main reason? Ease of use. Bluehost has a much simpler interface, so if you're new to all of this, getting your site set up and running is just easier. They also tend to have better customer support, which is a big deal if you ever run into an issue and need quick help. Another huge plus for Bluehost is that they're officially recommended by WordPress. That might not seem like a big deal at first, but it actually means a lot when it comes to compatibility and performance. They're built to work seamlessly with WordPress, and the experience tends to be smoother because of it. Now, if you're choosing between GoDaddy WordPress hosting and Bluehost, here's what it really comes down to. If you just want a solid, well-known hosting provider and you don't mind a bit of a learning curve with the dashboard, GoDaddy can still be a decent choice. But if you're looking for something that's easier to use and more beginner-friendly, Bluehost is probably the better option. And the good news? You can actually get a discount for both of these providers. I've got links in the description below where you can get the best possible price on either GoDaddy or Bluehost. So if you're thinking about signing up, make sure you check that out before paying full price. At the end of the day, this review of GoDaddy WordPress hosting is meant to give you a real, honest look at what you're getting into. Knowing what to expect before you commit can save you a ton of frustration. So if you're weighing your options, at least now you've got a clear picture of what GoDaddy offers and why Bluehost might actually be the better move.